welcome to Study with Sudhir YouTube channel and my name is Tejaswini Uma Sudhir and you are watching Teju Ki Pakshala, the latest edition. In this edition, we will be looking at the syllabus for semester 1 in the mathematics paper which is the MCQ based paper. Later, we will also be looking at mathematics, physics, chemistry. We will be solving a lot of questions with you so that you do really well in your semester 1 examinations. This is the syllabus in for semester 1 for the mathematics paper. The first unit is commercial mathematics. The commercial mathematics has two chapters. One is GST and the other is banking. Both GST and banking are very formula based chapters. You need to know the formula and you will get the answer. The next unit is algebra. Algebra is a lot of fun. Algebra unit has many chapters included in it. It has linear inequations is the first chapter in the algebra unit. Linear inequations is something which you will be doing later in 11th and 12th as well. Uh, as opposed to what it was before when it before MCQ based was introduced. For instance, when I wrote my board exams, you had to know how to represent it in your answer sheet. Whereas now you only need to in know how to interpret the number lines in your uh, for, for the chapter of linear inequations. The next chapter is quadratic equations in one variable. Quadratic equation one variable, the most important question which is asked are what type of roots are there in that particular equation, real, distinct, imaginary, etc. Uh, there is factorization which you have been doing and you all know very well. Factorization and there is a formula method based on this factorization. One thing which you should keep in mind which was also asked in the uh, uh, specimen paper was significant uh, figures. So you should have an understanding of significant figures and we will be doing that also in the uh, upcoming videos. We will be telling you how exactly it is to be done. The next chapter is ratio and proportion. Ratio and proportion, there are uh, some questions which are based directly on ratio and proportion that is b square is equal to ac when there are three numbers given and stuff like that. And then there are simple problems based on componendo and dividendo. The thing which you should keep in mind while doing componendo and dividendo is of the signs. You should be careful of what sign you are using and you will get your answer right. The next uh, chapter here is factorization of polynomials. Factorization of poly polynomials, there is a standard method which uh, you can use to get your answer, uh, the long division method. There is another data method which can also be used which is substitution of the options in the question to get the answer. For instance, if they are asking you the factors of a particular equation and you have the options, you can just substitute and in the question and if it comes to zero then it is a factor so that's another that's a smarter way to solve a question faster and that's the benefit of having a mcq based paper the next chapter which you have is matrices matrices uh, is uh, something which will again come in 11th and 12th uh, matrices the, uh, the more tricky part in the chapter is multiplication. If you are careful when you are doing your multiplication, you will do well and you will certainly be able to answer all the questions which comes on matrix in the exam. The next chapter is arithmetic progression. You don't have geometric progression, you don't have harmonic progression, you only have arithmetic progression and you have only two concepts there. You have general term of the uh, general term and you have sum of the series. They have two basic formulas. You substitute uh, the uh, uh, you know the uh, the terms and you get the answer. There are only two formulas which you need to be knowing. Next, you have geometry. Geometry may a key chapter here in semester one, and the chapter is similarity. Similarity is uh, you don't you don't have any proofs. You don't need any proofs. You don't need to be learning the proofs. Uh, unlike before when it was not MCQ based where we had to write a statement uh, for every uh, you know if you write that you okay, okay fine angle uh, PQR is equal to angle ABC we had to write okay fine because these are alternate angles and things like that you don't need any of that you just need to have understanding you don't need to write it's almost you know it's, it's not time you save on so much of time because you need to don't need to write all the statements you just need to have them in your mind you may ha be asked questions like you know uh, triangle PQR is similar to which 
other triangle given in the particular diagram or you may be asked which axiom does it follow for these two triangles to be symmetrical whether it is triple a or sas or triple s so it's that simple it's all in your mind you just need to have understanding and you will do great so this is to do with the syllabus now i'm going to be telling you some general tips tips which you need to be following uh, so that you can prepare really well and excel and get a 40 on 40 in your semester 1 exam first point it is an MCQ based paper, so you don't need to spend time writing steps. Previously, we used to get step uh, marks for every step that we write. If you skip a step, out of three marks, even if you got the answer, you may uh, one mark may be cut because you did not write so and so step. Whereas for you, you get the answer, you get marks. If it's a two mark question, you have ticked that okay, fine, D option is the correct answer, you get marks. It's as simple as that. So this what happens is that it saves a lot of your time. You uh, the questions which you are not able to uh, you find it more tough. You can spend more time on it because uh, you save a lot of time in the uh, in simpler questions because you don't need to write the steps. You directly need to take the answer. For example, if you're good at matrix multiplication, uh, there is a process of addition also while you're doing the multiplication, right? If it was in the previous, uh, when you had to write entire long answers, then you had to show that, okay, fine, this is being added with this and stuff like that in multiplication. Whereas now, if you're good at it, provided you don't make mistakes in calculation, you can still skip steps as long as you get the final answer and it should be right. Don't skip steps unless you are confident that it is the right answer. But if you can, where you can, you should because you save a lot of time. Second point is that everything is compulsory. It is almost like the section A of your maths paper before when it was an 18 mark paper and 40 mark was compulsory and 40 mark was optional. Now everything is compulsory. So you can't afford to skip any chapters. You cannot leave chapter chapters kya hai anyway optional. Mein nahi chhod sakte kuch bhi. You need to be studying all the chapters. Another advantage in MCQ based is that you can use elimination process to get your final answer. Suppose you're not able to get the final answer in some question. Suppose the answer you get or not in the any of the four options or you don't know the process to solve that particular question. You can use elimination process. For example, in the question if it is given that X should belong to an integer in a linear inequality in equations uh, question suppose it says that x should belong to an integer and then in the options x is belonging to a real number and uh, you know things like that it can directly be eliminated or in a factorization question as i previously said you can substitute the options in the question to get the answer that is the real fire of having an mcq based paper also, it almost prepares you for competitive exams. After you're done with your 10th grade, you do 11th and 12th, where most of you would be preparing for, you know, different competitive exams like JE or NEET or uh, NDA or even your Olympiads, which you all write, they're all MCQ based. Uh, so this is almost like a, it prepares you, it gives you, otherwise, you know, all your life you've been giving these long answer, you know, your answer script sort of, you know, papers. Whereas this will almost prepare you while you are uh, going to, by, by when you attempt your JE or NEET exams after two years. So what's the plan of action here on Study with Sudhir? Today we are uh, we are going to we have started the series where we'll first be doing the syllabus discussion and we'll give give you tips and tricks on how you should attempt the paper and how you should first of all prepare for the paper so that you really do very well in the paper. The, uh, we will be doing for mathematics, physics and chemistry. We will also be looking at chapter wise MCQ solving. You and me will solve the MCQs together. Chapter wise, we will do the specimen paper first. Then we will do chapter wise for every chapter. We will do MCQs together. And then we will look at some mix and match. We will uh, do some proper paper, uh, papers together. Uh, you know, like with a mix of chapters where, okay, fine, first question will be from GST and second question will be from factorization, things like that. Looking forward to being on this journey of getting full marks in maths, physics and chemistry with you here on Study with Sudhir. Thank you so much for watching.